Okay. Okay, so it's recording. Um, Suleiman, are you sharing already something? Um, I'm going to start in a moment. Okay, just let me know. Oh yeah, I can see that. Okay, perfect. Okie dokie, so it's our second meeting uh, and maybe let's get started with our agenda for today. So first of all, we are going to uh, uh, review our action items from the previous meeting for a starter. Then we have um, two additional topics. Uh, one is uh, secret uh, management for Pro Cluster, and uh, Michal Wieczorek will present that for us. And another topic is uh, define development workflow for test infra uh, by Adam Szczecówka. Okay, so uh, do we have any uh, uh, anything to add on last minute? No. Okie dokie, so let's go uh, through our uh, action items from uh, previous meetings. Um, I allow myself to uh, update, uh, update action items with uh, issues and, uh, and let's say owners of that issues. Uh, so uh, first of all, prepare pro provisioning script. Uh, that takes secrets from Vault and apply them on Pro Cluster. I think that Suleiman is uh, owner of that uh, topic. Mm -hmm. Can you update us quickly? Of course. Um, I basically prepared the uh, provisioning scripts. Um, after getting some feedback, I uh, improved them a little bit as well, but um, the taking secrets from wild part is missing, um, mostly because um, it's not decided yet. And I think Michal is already going to present us um, which secrets management um, mm -hmm. to go. And after it's decided, I, I will update uh, that one as well. So there is already pull request for that, but we can uh, exactly. assume that it's work in progress still, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, does anyone uh, has any questions to that part? Um, actually here, um, there is one discussion item. Mm -hmm. um, if we want to install uh, more than one pro uh, into a cluster, this is one thing. And another thing, uh, actually, while looking at the issues, um, I realized the comment from one of the lead developers uh, of Test Infra team. Um, they are saying for security reasons, um, we should always run the pods, uh, the jobs in a different cluster than the uh, pro cluster uh, components. Um, maybe we can discuss if um, we already should start doing that or is it an overkill at the moment? So we got two, topic, two topics. One topic is about um, uh, how many prows do we want in one cluster, right? Uh, yeah, should we run more than one prow inside one cluster uh, in different namespaces, like for testing purposes mm -hmm. and for production? Mm -hmm. And another thing is, should we run uh, pro jobs in another cluster? I mean, do we in want to do, do that at the moment? Yes, sir. In another cluster or in another uh, namespace? In another cluster. cluster. Yeah, um, th th yeah, this is one of the um, one of the comments from um, one of the developers actually from Test Infra, and they say it's um, highly insecure to run the uh, jobs inside uh, the same cluster with the prior components because we are supplying secrets to the components, and it's um, it. They say it's quite easy to, um, you know, pick up these um, secrets by, like, creating mal malicious uh, jobs. I don't know if um, it's valid for us at the moment, but, uh, you know, uh, I think whatever we start with will continue for a long time. Uh, mm. 
like if we start with something simple, I think it would be hard to change it uh, later on. This is one uh, thought, but another thought, it's, it's just overkill at the moment. I don't know what you think. Could you add a link to that discussion to our pull request to have it in one place? Of course, of course. At least. I'll do that after the meeting. Okay. I would stay with current setup. I mean, one class, one pro in one cluster uh, and leave that for the security review, which we have planned somewhere. I don't know when, but mm -hmm. in the future. Uh, of course, that, also, that could be discussed. Also, but, yeah, also regarding that if it's difficult to switch, I don't know. I read also this uh, issue and all the comments and they uh, they are saying, I didn't test that, but they are saying that it's rather easy to switch between the clusters where we, where the jobs can be run. So, I don't know if it's if it will be a problem to switch to additional cluster for only for the jobs, not for the, let's say, pro. And would it be a problem to provision two different clusters for Pro? Would it be a problem? I, I mean, yeah, because of the that. cost. Um, yeah. I don't think so. I guess the Pro cluster, the main, let's say, control plane will be smaller one, only for the components related to Pro, and the second one will be for the jobs. So. Mm -hmm. Of course, the capacity can be bigger, the sum will be bigger than the one, but I don't think it will be additional costs, I think. Mm -hmm. All right. Because we, we are not paying for the master uh, mm -hmm. uh, load, so. Okay, then Adam, I'm um, adding an action item uh, to investigate more on um, running the proud jobs on a different cluster for this. Uh, but it will be follow up or we want to fix it in the current issue? I think it should be a follow up. Okay, so we can mm -hmm. close uh, this issue. Okay. Mm. Yes, I agree. We should finish that issue as soon as possible and then work on follow-ups. Mm -hmm. And about um, running two pros inside one cluster, I haven't uh, tested it before, but I saw a couple of uh, issues. Actually, this is one of them. Um, it says as soon as the user switch to a different namespace, everything booms and it's still open. Um, so maybe for now we should we can just um, ha have this uh, issue done and then later on we can also think about it like having another pro for uh, testing purposes. But it should be a different issue, I, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's it. Okay, so this first item we got um, we got discussed, and there's um, there's a question to you, Suleiman. Do you want to discuss uh, all your items uh, now, or you don't mind if I will cut something else in between? Yeah, no problem. You can. Okay. Okay, so next one will be uh, migration for one two components. Uh, uh, and as far as I remember, we agreed on uh, component one JS component and one uh, Go component. Ukash, any details? Uh, no, so the only detail for now is that we I just specified more in the ticket. Um, so we're uh, with one person, it's going to be Mihao Hudi, who's at the call. Uh, he will drive that topic further. So we'll just migrate to our UI API layer, which is a Go project, and probably one or maybe all our JS views and properly everything so others can then continue. That's the goal. 
Okay, okay. Um, so back to Michal, I cannot hear him because I think Michal wants to say something. Uh, now okay. Oh yeah, we can okay. hear you. Yeah. And I have one question here. Uh, do we have any pro cluster already or I should set up by myself? Uh, by myself? Um, there are some things I um, have done. I can share them with you. Uh, and should um, I use it or I don't know, what is the flow for this task? Uh, uh, at the end of uh, today's meeting, uh, I would like to discuss the development workflow and uh, this is one of the questions. Okay. So l let's uh, wait till that uh, part, okay? Okay, thank you. So do we have any other questions to that uh, issue? So back to you, Suleiman. And this one is about uh, threat modeling for Pro. Mm -hmm. um, not much update actually from this point. I uh, contact the security team, but the responsible person is on vacation right now. I emailed him asking for a meeting uh, as soon as he's available next week. Okay. Okay, so uh, this one issue will last a bit longer, right? So should we, um, I don't know, uh, remind ourselves about this issue on every meeting? What do you think? Yeah, I think it's an important issue and uh, we should always keep track of it and solve it as soon as possible. Because okay, um, so we, we should has... copy it as, as an action item, yes, to the next yes. Uh, meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's exactly what I was asking about. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next one. The next one is if investigate provisioning uh, Google Cluster for integration test, and this one is on me. So, Abred update from uh, myself. We didn't really start working on that as per se, uh, but we already have um, a script, bash script uh, provisioning uh, Google Cluster so it can be uh, easily reused in a browse scenario. And still the issue is uh, in, let's say, installation team uh, sprint backlog. So there's still a chance. Okay, so any questions to that item? Great. Um, and another one from Suleiman, and it's investigating running virtual machine for our integration tests on Minikube. Uh, so basically replacing Docker in Docker scenario. Yeah, I recently started working on that. Um, actually, there are two ways to do it on, um, on a virtual machine on Google Cloud. One way is um, enabling this nested virtualization, um, which looks overly complicated for our scenario. That's why um, I first tried uh, to do it with uh, using the VM driver none option of Minikube. Um, so basi basically we can provision a, a VM uh, from Google Cloud by using G Cloud uh, SDK. Um, so it's actually, let me show you. It's as easy as uh, one command. It's just creating an instance uh, with the image that we specify. And also, we can uh, give it a startup script. Um, well, basically, I tried this um, to install. Decker and then Minikube on this uh, newly created instance, and it's work, worked out well. Um, actually, what I had in mind is uh, creating a script which will um, install the Minikube first and then clone the Kima repo and then run the um, integration tests uh, on this VM. And um, as uh, for now, I don't see any problem with it. Um, 
yeah, it's well. The only thing is, uh, of course, uh, this script will run uh, in a different um, machine, and if there is a network problem in the like middle of the process, uh, of course, we can lose the connection, and then like um i don't know how it will end i mean at um at one vm it will continue um the progression but from the proud job uh, it would be failing so the all that is the only problem i see at the moment well i guess we can just do some retries in this proud job which will retry this ssh or whatever comment of course, if it will fail several times, uh, we can assume that the machine is dead or something and just fail also the test. But mm -hmm. in case of just uh, a few second network issues that that can be resolved. Right. And do you know if, also, any, if there is any side effect of um, running Qubit VM driver none? I mean, I mean for Kima. We are already using uh, VM yeah. driver none in yeah Docker in Docker scenario. Uh -huh. Okay, so okay. great. There be no. So there should not be anything. Yeah. All right, and what is the action item for this issue? Actually, um, rather than investigation. The issue is only for investigation and preparing some job for exactly running this mini cube in some virtual machine. Mm -hmm. Also with Kima, I don't know. All right, and I'm going to add an action item for this one as well. Uh, basically to run the integration on site this VM. Okay, any other question? Okay, so uh, last action item from uh, uh, our um, first meeting was review existing peers in uh, test infra repository. And yeah, it was uh, it wasn't uh, action item uh, assigned to uh, someone specific. So I guess we can have a look at pull requests in testing. I, I cannot comment that uh, all uh, PRs are uh, reviewed. Some, some of them were closed and some of them, they are still in progress. But you can also share screen right now and see what I think currently we have three pull requests in progress. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, then I can confirm that they are uh, they have been reviewed. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So I guess we are done with action items, uh, so we can jump to secret management for Pro Cluster. Michal, are you ready? Yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, on the last meeting we heard this discussion that we need something to store the secrets because uh, when we will be recreating the cluster, uh, the secrets of course are, the secrets for Pro are on the, in the secrets in Kubernetes, but when we are recreating the cluster, for example, we're deleting the old one and creating new one, uh, the secrets are gone. So we have to keep them uh, somewhere else. And I think that should not be of course, on somebody's working workstation or something like that. We need a place to store them and to store them uh, secretly. Uh, so uh, at that meeting, we said that we should not rather use uh, our internal uh, vault uh, because it will be a dependency and we want to switch from our Jenkins and that vault is rather coupled with that Jenkins, so we don't want to make such uh, dependency. Um, so I've done some uh, research and, and let me maybe just share my screen. I've 
Uh, someone has to stop sharing, Suleiman, if you can. Okay, let me try. Um... Just stop <laughs> ah, stop share. Okay, I found it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Um, I think this one. Okay. Can you see? Yes. Okay, great. Um, so basically, uh, GCP, Google doesn't provide any uh, vault as a service, let's say. Uh, the only thing which they provide is KMS, key management service or something like that, uh, which is a service for encrypting, not for storing secrets. So uh, also the recommended, let's say, uh, way to manage secret management, which is described here on this link, uh, is to use the KMS for encrypting uh, the secrets, but storing them somewhere else, for example, on GCP storage. Um, so one of the option to use if you want to use only GCP uh, is to use this GCP KMS to enc for encryption and store those secrets in, in a storage bucket somewhere. Of course, this access to the KMS and the storage bucket will be only for selected people which will be responsible, for example, for creating the cluster and administrating them, etc. Um, other option uh, is to use uh, other secret management tool that's offered as a service. For example, if we use Azure, uh, there is this Azure Vault we, we, where we can skip the secrets. Um, <clears throat> but of course, uh, it would require to have uh, two clouds for one solution. So that's the disadvantage. Um, another one is to use full-blown solution for secret management like HashiCorp Vault, but for me it's a little bit overkill just to store, I don't know how many, but a few secrets for the pro. Um, maybe another one also is to use something in which, what we have internally, <clears throat> of course, which I started that we should not uh, be coupled with uh, our internal Jenkins vault. Uh, and I don't know if we want to go that way to, to, to make such uh, uh, coupling with something internally uh, here in our company. So from my perspective, the easiest one would be to use the first option. So this uh, KMS and GCP storage. Uh, but of course, uh, I think we should discuss that and make a decision together. That's all. Thanks. Thank you. Does anyone has comments on that? Should we create issue for implementing this first option? As a POC or as a... Um, it can be part of this uh, installation script, I think. Uh, I guess we, would, we will manage those secrets manually. I mean, someone with proper rights will get access to KMS and to GCP storage bucket, put the secret, generated secrets from, I don't know, some GitHub tokens or uh, some other secrets uh, and put them there, encrypted. And uh, the other part is, of course, uh, uh, getting them from this uh, installation script or something. So it will be part of the current issue, yes, with the installation script? Yeah, somehow I think it's also blocked by uh, choosing the solution and uh, preparing the, all the automation. Okay, so are we going, um, are we going to create uh, issue from that one and so to unblock the uh, installation script? 
Um, uh, Michal, uh, do you know what uh, Kubernetes is using for their secrets? Um, you mean uh, for the pro, for the Kubernetes? Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't mm -hmm. do any research. I can try, but I don't know. As far as I uh, remember, they were using um, the same storage, Google uh, container, but um, I don't know if they are using KMS for encrypting. Um, but yeah, the first option looks the best, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess we can create action item for that one. So we go with the first option and we can start to implement that in, in the installation script or something. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Yes, I would say so. Anyone against it? Yay. So let's go with that one. Good. Of course, I can help with that. Okay. Uh, any other comments to that topic? Uh, I think that Adam has some uh, troubles with audio. I'm back. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Talk. Yep. So uh, we... The last one point is on you. Okay, so let me share my screen. Yep. Can you it's see? On. Yes. Uh, okay, so I defined an issue uh, with uh, questions which come to my mind, which I think block us a little bit before we really start uh, working on the implementation of the pro. So, purpose of this uh, task is to answer them and document uh, somewhere. So uh, first uh, question is um, how we do want to uh, work on the uh, changes in the pro. So uh, it is possible to run pro uh, locally on Minikube and then uh, commit our changes and then test on the uh, cluster. Uh, Suleiman, do you have uh, any experience with that? Um, I couldn't do that. I tried to run it on Minikube, but uh, I couldn't uh, ex um, reach it uh, from external. That's okay. why I couldn't do it. Yeah. Okay, I have the same experience, um, but, but I was uh, testing it for a short, a shorter period of time. And so, um, so the, the next question is, um, how many pro clusters we want to have? Um, because uh, Probably we want to have one pro which contains, uh, you know, most up-to-date and final solution. But we need also other cluster for the testing or um, or changes and uh, how we want to organize that. Can we ask for some uh, testing clusters and who, who can we ask? This is my question to all of you. Okay, so I guess that some of us are able to provision clusters and yeah, it is not a problem to, to set up pro on them. It takes like minutes, right? But yeah, we need to agree how many, uh, how many in and how long lived cluster we want, right? And from the cost perspective, do we need some agreement on how many clusters we are able to pro provision? I think the, that the cost is not so big. So the, the common sense rule is that you can have as many clusters as you want uh, unless you delete them when you stop working on that. So the provisioning is pretty fast. So setting up the cluster is about three minutes and installing Pro on that probably is the same, maybe shorter. So you can spin the, the new cluster and test it within a couple of minutes. So do your work and then shut down if you don't need it. Okay, so as I understand, we should have the approach of on-demand clusters. When we need to test it, so we can provision new clusters uh -huh. and after that, just delete it. Okay. At least, 
at least mo remove it when you go home. Yeah, so you don't need it anymore. So. And uh, so uh, our development workflow, workflow will be following that uh, we uh, make some changes. We test it on, on this on-demand cluster and uh, after that everything is fine. We can, uh, only after that we can merge to the master, let's say, yeah? Uh, not, okay. not sure about that, yeah, but. <laughs> we will see, maybe. And uh, we have also a discussion on the Slack if we should uh, currently uh, run on the, uh, define our jobs on the Kima project Kima or use some uh, different uh, repository, uh, for example, fork. And uh, because we were afraid if we can uh, somehow block um, uh, development on the Kima because of some problems with the pro uh, configuration, but uh, as far as I understand, Solomon said that as far as we do not add too many uh, plugins, it will be safe to use the real Kima repository. But uh, I'm also uh, thinking if we should create some um, test repository, which allow when we can create some uh, dummy commits that could trigger pro jobs. So what do you think about that? Okay, I think uh, we should uh, work on forks, not on main Kima repository. It was the same as we work on the POC. Uh, we also didn't use the Kima project. We worked on our forks of uh, clone repositories. This is safer. Uh, okay, so uh, so when when I, when I want to um, develop something, I should configure my pro to run against my uh, forked uh, Kima repository, yes? Yes, I think it will be a good uh, flow because you will, uh, you can be sure that uh, you don't uh, destroy any master, for example, on Kima or something like that. Okay. And, uh, you, you, you can always uh, recreate your fork, so it's not a problem, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I have also uh, another question uh, because um, it, in that discussion on the Slack, it was said that we should uh, disable uh, builds on our internal CI uh, as soon as we migrate to Pro. But um, for example, um, what are the conditions uh, for the, the, the that disabling? So. Uh, mm, what should be um, when we are uh, when we will know that we can uh, disable that build on the our internal CI? So, for example, currently we have I, I'm not sure how it is right now, but currently we have uh, some uh, uh, differences between releasing um, releasing Kima and merging to master. So, uh, we also should right now also take into account that when we uh, remove our configuration from Jenkins, we should also be able to release from the pro job, yes? Yeah. That's right, I think. Okay. And so maybe I will summarize all what we said today and I will create some, uh, some document uh, which contains all, all that points to define the, the or work, workflow. If you have any questions, so please uh, come, come on later on the pull request. So that's all from my side. Magda? Okay, dokie. Thank you, Adam. Um, do we have any other topics or anything we can still discuss? How are we with the time, by the way? We still have almost 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. Or three minutes if you were with trial of Zoom. Um, there is one thing I would like to discuss. Um, I have a PR for creating a build pack. Um, there, uh, Michal and Adam and I were discussing if we want to uh, split the build pack into two, uh, one for Node.js projects and one for Golang projects. 
and we can discuss it I think at the moment uh, what I had in mind in the beginning uh, to have one build job for all the components because that build job would only call uh, uh, make commands um, and you know it doesn't matter um, if it's a Node.js application or uh, or a Golang components and for that, for only one build job, you know, it makes sense to have one unified uh, build pack. But I, I don't know what do you guys think. So as far as I know, uh, I added comment that uh, it looks mm, uh, on the one uh, Docker image, we install tools for the Golang and for Node.js. So this was my my question: if we uh, sh uh, should do that. So uh, mm, mm, I think we can also mm, have another approach when we have uh, maybe maybe it was uh, suggested by Michal that we can have one base image with uh, some um, tools which are various and uh, from that image we create uh, two more uh, docker uh, images uh, one with the node tools and the second with the golang tools but yeah but uh, as far as i understand correctly suleiman uh, is saying that he wants to have one job definition for all the components so one job definition means one docker image so if it would be easier to have all the tools in one Docker image. Is it correct? Exactly. Yeah, so uh, if in such case I want to propose. Well, for now we can start using it, what we have. And uh, if it changes later on, you know, uh, we can always improve and update the build pack. Anyway, I think we should uh, wait with that decision uh, until I finish my POC with building two components, right? Exactly, yeah. So I think yeah. we can hold that up here. Mm -hmm. and I mean, you are, what, mm -hmm. you uh, are going to be using the uh, build fake, so. <laughs> uh, I will go and use it or not, I don't know yet. So uh, I think we shouldn't push it to the master right now. Okay. After the POC, I will see what we need, right? Yep. And what is the better use case? All right. Is there anyone else who want to share or discuss something? I guess no one. So I guess that would be all for this meeting. Did I lost you guys? No, we are still here. No, we are no, here. No, 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 we are here. Okay, okay. So thank you very much for participating and see you next time. See you. Thank you. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye.